bloody fantastic. Hello everybody, my name is Goodboy and welcome to a top 10 video on the biggest affected or biggest changes that we've seen courtesy of patch 7.06D. Um, following on from general savagery, this list is going to look at the, the most severe changes in terms of win or losses. However, before we jump into that, I just would love for you to take a few moments of your time to look at this awesome sponsor of mine and the great offer that they do. Skins or Cash is an awesome website that's ultra secure that will help you sell your unwanted Dota stuff or indeed other skins from other games that you don't want. They will check out them ultra fast, ultra secure, and the more you use it, the more you get a bonus and the more you get money back. Try it today, it's awesome. Okay, everybody, well, let's get to it. In at number 10 is Darkseer. Darkseer has seen a very, very slight decrease in his, uh, in his win rate by just almost negligible, almost fluctuating within, net, within the meta. This is where his Wall of Replica Slow was reduced and his base amount of mana was also uh, kicked in somewhat. Uh, base intelligence reduced by two. That being said, it doesn't massively appear to be affecting him overall across the entire meta. However, in the higher skill brackets, I think, unfortunately, it will be felt a bit more. Number 9 sees Crystal Maiden drop ever so slightly with, again, negative 0.28%. So, again, almost ignorable. Still means Crystal Maiden is incredibly good right now. A great... Uh, <laughs> everything. Uh, amazing support, great lane, great setup, great kiter. Just everything you want. So, don't let the recent nerfs put you off playing Crystal Maiden at all. It has... As it turns out, made little to no difference. Similar story also arrives at number 8 with Invoker. Invoker's Alacrity had a very, very slight nerf. Its cooldown increased from 15 to 17, and again, a minus 0.35%. Again, this really helped with the whole pushing and in a, in a team fight and you know, buffing your, your core right clicker. So, you know, it was, it was, it was pretty good, pretty good um, of a nerf. But it, it, like I say, with so many of these things, it's quite mild. So the first three, you know, 10, 9, 8, were sort of mild changes. These were actually quite big changes. So Pugna only had his attack range increased from 600 to 630, and yet has enjoyed a massive whopping increase of 1.4%. Really, really big change. Um, a really nice imp improvement. I think it's also partly to do with meta shifting, and the fact that Pugna generally is quite good and quite well suited as a hero to the meta generally, especially with a nether ward teamfight presence. But nonetheless, a very interesting and positive change. Number 6 sees Winter Wyvern both jump up by a massive 1.5%. Again, this is the Arctic Burn health damage has been increased from 8 to 9%. As, a, as far as a buff goes, it's actually quite a small one, but if you actually think about it in terms of the cumulative damage that it will do, it's actually pretty impressive. So, you know, 1.5% actual win rate increase is pretty good. Chaos Knight had his base strength increase from 20 to 22, and for that, at number 5, he got up to 1.6% improvement in his win rate. Really, really good. Um, Chaos Knight generally is fitting very, very well in the meta anyway, so this additional buff is a fantastic improvement and a wonderful um, joy. Definitely recommend you playing CK right now. Number four. Now this guy needed saving and they've started to do that. The Phantom Lancer has seen his win rate increase by 1.7%, which now actually sees him as currently averaged across the meta as meta viable, with an overall win rate of 50.74. Again, illusions have been kicked in recently, so it's you know it's not overly exciting. But again, if you look at actually what they did to him, his base HP regen was increased from 0.5 to 1.5, so it's a really, really big base increase in his regen. So very, very positive, and again, I think you can get away with playing him now. Number three sees, and the top three are the biggest changes by far. Leshrac. Leshrac actually has increased his win rate by nearly 2.5% courtesy of the patch. And this is because his level 10 talent tree was increased his movement speed from 15 to 25. Or you can increase his health from 1.25 to 175. Now for me, it's the movement speed one that really stands out. But both are unilateral buffs, and whichever one you pick, it generally helps him. But with the increased movement speed and the synergy with all his other skills and abilities, he's actually seen quite a big rise. Sadly, though, average across the meta, still not that amazing. 
Now, this next one is really, really bad news. At number two, we see Bristleback drop by nearly 3% in his win rate. Absolutely savaged. Um, and in fact, it's so bad, he's actually dropped out of being meta viable from 51.88 to 48.92. So this is the two big things they did to him. Warpath damage bonus was decreased in the early, uh, at the early levels, levels um, 6 and 12. But at uh, his strength gain was reduced really significantly from 2.5 to 2.2. This sadly has taken him off the boil, and you won't be seeing him being quite as good as he was before. Um, I still rate him, and I wouldn't actually count him out just yet, but from a statistics point of view, unfortunately, he is going down. And this sees the biggest buff of all, which will almost certainly get nerfed in the next patch, <laughs> based on what we're seeing right now, nearly a 4% increase in win rate with Underlord and his Firestorm. Now, the, the max damage was increased really significantly from 0.8 to the maximum of 3.2 to 1 to 4%. So maximum 4% of your max health damage is actually pretty huge in conjunction with the fact that he's been underrated and is generally quite a good healer right now. It puts him in as actually one of the best off laners right now. And as it stands, he actually has a 58% win rate across the meta. That's huge, absolutely huge. Now the chances are that win rate will slightly drop in the times ahead, but now Underlord is probably one of my most recommended heroes for you play, particularly if you're gonna use him as an off lane hero. Well, everybody, that is the current biggest winners and losers of patch 7.06D. Thanks for tuning in, and please give it a like, subscribe, and share. Thank you, and goodbye.